Thank you for my subscriber who asked me if I was going to drop another mystical video. I will not stop until Michelle Tyler gets justice. Now, if you guys were paying attention to the videos that I posted recently, speaking about mystical and his interview with Vlad, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about, and this furtherly, furtherly proves that mystical is a liar. Now, if you guys listen to the Vlad interview, Mystical claimed that he was an R&B act and rapper. Mystical claims that he was an R&B act and rapper on Big Boy Records. He also stated to Vlad that Michelle Tyler, his eldest sister who was murdered back in 1994, she was signed to Big Boy Records as well as an R&B singer and act. This clearly states in writing, if you guys can read, which I know you can, it was released, he made an album on Big Boy Records and it was labeled Just Mystical. And he was signed to the label Big Boy Records. And this was released in June 14th of 1994. He recorded between 93 and 94. Now, Michelle singing on Not That Nigga, we have her voice. I need for my other subscriber darling you know who you are please resend that picture of michelle tyler so i can share it with all of you guys so you guys can see just how beautiful this lady was now back to the facts these are receipts and this is the first receipt i'm going to show you guys now like i stated and i'm going to state it again if you guys go and check out Vlad's interview, Mythical claim that Michelle Tyler was signed to Big Boy Records as an R&B singer. Where is Michelle's release at? Where is Michelle's information? Why don't we only see Mystical on Big Boy Records? There is no Big Boy Record label that ever signed a Michelle Tyler, ever. Guys, please pay attention to details. Pay attention to the facts and not the person, not the God and the person or the record deal and the person or the celebrity and the person. Pay attention to the facts of what someone says. And then when you do your research and you find that, hey, we can't find what he's saying, it does not make it the truth. It is clearly, clearly false. That's part one that I wanted to say. Again, this is Big Boy Records. We have nothing stating that Michelle was ever signed to that label. Another thing, guys, if you're paying close attention, Mystical released this album on June 14th of 1994, just three months prior to Michelle Tyler's death. So you mean to tell me that she sung on this album, I'm Not That Nigga, in June 14th of 1994, and then September, just a couple of months later, she was murdered with a radio cord, stabbed in her right side of her neck 16 times, and her head was nearly not even attached to her body. Yes, guys. Her head, one side of her her, her neck was gone, like it was hanging off of her head. And you mean to tell me that your sister had on your not that nigga prom promotional t-shirt on? This does not make any sense, guys. Like I keep telling y'all, Mystical made it about himself. Listen closely. So, I mean, according to reports, she was found in, in her family home. She was stabbed and strangled. I found her. Yeah, she was. I you, found you her. Found her. Thank, thank God it was me and not my little brother and not my mom and nobody like that. Somebody that was, you know, strong enough to, to handle that situation. I, I found my sister in her bed dead with a mystical promotional t-shirt on saying I'm not that nigga on it, man. On my birthday, you know. And I, I, actually, she was she was part of, she had, signed, she had just signed with Big Boy Records too. That's the label that Sice and uh, Chuck and Rob them had. It was called Big Boy Records. And she, she, you know, she she was signed as an R&B act and I was signed as, as a rapper. because She actually performed with me the day, uh, Leroy, the, 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 they saw me performing at the Tremaine Center. She was clearly a freaking liar. For me to furtherly prove that Mystical is a liar, Mystical just stated that I'm glad that my mom or my nephew or my son didn't find her. I'm glad that I found her because I was the only one strong enough to take this. But then if you guys listen furtherly in the flat interview, Mystical went on to say that that shit was scary. It was so scary that you could turn around and the killer would be right behind you. 
Now, if you guys, like I said, did not listen to my other mystical videos, please go and view them. Mystical is talking and then Michael Tyler starts talking. I know what I'm talking about and I stated this before. So, the person that was talking then that says, oh, I was strong enough to take this. I'm happy that my mom or my brother or my son did not find her and I did. That was mystical talking. When Michael Tyler stated that the shit was scary, that was Michael Tyler talking. Please believe me. So, I'm going to cut this video short and come back with more. Like the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please hit the notification bell so when I make more mystical ology videos, you guys will be aware. Until the next time, guys, take care. Bye.